I'm Max Eddy with PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Yesterday, Apple unveiled two new, bigger iPhones and the Apple Watch, but Tim Cook also spent a good chunk of the unveiling talking about a new payment platform appropriately called Apple Pay. Apple Pay is supposed to make digital payments easier by turning your phone into a wallet. You'll load your credit cards into the Passbook app using your camera and then make NFC payments at more than 200,000 brick and mortar stores with just a tap of your iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or Apple Watch. You'll also be able to quickly pay for stuff in certain apps, too. People have already been shopping online for over a decade, but Apple says its system is smarter and more secure. Consumers are going to be able to make purchases on their phone just with their fingerprint. Also, NFC hasn't really taken off in the US despite Google fully embracing it with Google Wallet, but excitement about new Apple devices might spur faster adoption. Going for your phone instead of your credit card might soon be normal. I'm excited for Apple Pay because Apple doesn't store your credit card information but hides it behind what's called a device account number. It seems a little bit like a virtual credit card which banks and security companies have been providing for a while. This puts a layer between merchants and your personal information, and that's great. But what about theft? If someone steals your iPhone, will they be able to impersonate you at the checkout counter? First, he'd have to spoof your thumbprint since Apple Pay uses the Touch ID fingerprint scanner in newer iPhones. You can also secure your lost phone using Find My iPhone, but recent studies have shown that personal data can still be recovered from a wiped phone. Also, it's not clear how Apple will authenticate Apple Watch purchases, but then again, if a crook stole your credit card or your debit card, he could do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, there's a lot of speculation about Apple Pay. It looks great on paper, but no one's had the chance to attack it or even use it yet. We'll have to wait and see. You can read all about security and Apple's new products on PCMag.com. That's what's new now, and I'm still Max Eddy.